Hey everyone, so today I am going to answer a question. Suppose you have a vector space V, which is a vector space over real numbers or complex numbers, or you can also take rational numbers. Okay, if you have a, in short, if you know a concept of field, then I am taking any infinite field. Okay, so if you have a vector space over real numbers or complex numbers or rational numbers, then if I ask a question, if S is a subset of V, okay, I'm not saying a subspace, I'm saying, okay, let, let me take S to be a subspace of V, let S be a subspace of V, then my question is, can your S be a finite set? If you have a vector space over real numbers, then will that subspace can ever be finite or it will always be infinite? That's what the question is. I asked this question to one of my students in the interview. So I thought of this sharing with all. Okay. Well, if I only say this much thing, their answer is yes. Why? You take S to be singleton zero. You take a singleton zero vector. Then we know that this forms a subspace. Okay. The trivial subspace. Okay. Because zero vector is there. If you take any two vector, their addition is there. You take any two vectors, but what are the vectors here? Only the zero vector. So if you take zero vector and zero vector, what is the addition of zero plus zero? It is again zero. If you take a vector and you take a scalar, so zero bar is here, you take a scalar. What is the multiplication of a scalar and a zero vector? It is again a zero vector. So it's again here. So therefore this forms a subspace. So if I only ask this much, answer is yes. There do exist a subspace which are which is a finite set that means the elements are finite in number here you can see only one element is there but if i say if s is a non-zero subspace of v i'm taking a subspace of v which is non-zero then can your s be a finite set in that case answer is no so when you have a vector space over an infinite field then your non-zero vector non-zero subspace can never be finite, it will always be infinite. Why so? Let, let us try to see that. Okay, the, the answer is very easy. Okay, so what I want to show that S is an infinite set. Now this is a non-zero subspace. Okay, so let V bar belongs to S. Okay, and V bar is what is non-zero. Okay, because S is non-zero. That means S has a vector other than zero as well. Okay, so that means S has zero vector because it's a subspace. It will have some non-zero vectors as well. Okay, so let me take the first vector say V. So V is a vector, non-zero vector in S. Now because it is a subspace, it satisfies the scalar multiplication property. Okay, so therefore if you take any alpha, belongs to real number or complex or rational which are infinite in number so for any alpha in r we know that alpha into v bar will belongs to s why by the property of subspace okay because it is a subspace you take any vector from the set s its scalar multiplication will always be an element of s and since this is infinite these are infinitely many vectors okay uh, that also one has to argue why this collection of vectors is infinite. So like if I take 2 and 3, then 2 times v and 3 times v, will that be different or same? They will be different. Why? Because if alpha 1 times v bar is equal to alpha 2 times v bar, that means what? Where alpha 1 and alpha 2 are real numbers. I have alpha 1 minus alpha 2 into v bar is 0. But V bar is a non-zero vector. This implies what? My alpha 1 minus alpha 2 is 0. This implies alpha 1 equal to alpha 2. So these two vectors are equal if and only if the scalars are equal. So you take different different scalars, you get different different vectors. So for different different scalars, you have different different vectors. But there are infinitely many scalars. So there will be infinitely many vectors. Okay, so therefore, if S is a non-zero subspace of V, where V is a vector space over real number, complex number, or rational numbers, then that subspace, non-zero, can never be finite in number. It will always have infinitely many vectors. So, I hope this is clear to you. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you.